Hi there, this is Vespasian and my dim-witted sidekick who has wandered off. But this is uh, part two to the video we did last time, which was is basically a review of Hail Caesar and why we like it. And uh, now, if you don't play Hail Caesar, then um, we're just letting you know a bit about it. And now we are going to be talking about the armies. Yes, the armies. There's only two on these, you can see. Yeah, uh, these are basic boxes you can get that have full armies in them. Um, well, more or less, this one does. Well, and nearly full and armies. Enough to play a game it's with. It's the outer army. Yeah, so it's the enough to play a game with. And, and Cogot is gone. <laughs> when you want an army, you just pick something you like, to be honest. Uh, you pick a period you like. For us, it was Romans. It's a book. <laughs> You've stolen the rule book. Yep. Matt, you're kind of talking, I'm going to find the period where the armies are. This For us it was the Romans, uh, not because uh, the rule book's called Hail Caesar, because Hail Caesar covers basically from biblical times right up to pack and shot. So um, you can pretty much use any period to play Hail Caesar. Our next project's going to be Dark Ages, I'm going to play in Vikings and Saxons, which is going to be fun. Choosing an army, I now need the book. No, I need, I'm using the book now. I don't care. No! Choosing an army, such as this, that's a basic layout of an army. I know you can't see it from over there, but you should know by now. Um, you have a basic list which says what options you get in each army. You don't have to stick to the list. You can create your own armies. Uh, the two army rule books, we've got one of them, we'll wait for the other one. It's Christmas. Um, <laughs> The uh, it tells you how to actually create an army yourself, so you don't have to get the rule book, open it up, and say, This is the army I'm having, I've got to buy every single troop choice in this army and play it. Um, if you do tournaments, you probably do, but you know. Um, the army lists are for you to pick the troops you want. So if you do it using the Roman army list, there's certain troops you would only use in certain campaigns, so you'd only use your uh, tough fighter troops, what are they? Um, the veteran, Vet veteran legionaries. If you were playing the Dacian Wars, because the Romans didn't use that system in any other war, they only used it in the Dacian Wars. Uh, and additional armor and stuff. Um, they used to uh, they added armor to their arms and legs, basically, uh, because the Dacians used the falx, which was a curved blade that used to go around the side of the shield and slice the Romans' arms. Uh, so they have to introduce new armour. So you don't have to stick to the exact army book. Um, one army we had problems with uh, was the Parthian army. We only have a small Parthian army so far. Unfortunately, in the rules, they have no options for elephants. And it, it's really based entirely on cavalry. Whereas the Parthian army was the successor to the Persian army. And they had large numbers of troops, usually used for garrisons, and um, elephants, I mean thousands of elephants. And they weren't just the average elephant, they were well-trained elephants that were, uh, they used to practice by uh, standing on people's heads. That's not very nice. Yeah, ex uh, the, the, each elephant would be trained to execute people by stepping on his head and crushing his head to death. That's how they trained That's them. That's very nice. They weren't very nice people, to be honest. Prisoners. Yeah, to prisoners. No, very nice. No, at all. No. Whereas the Romans would give prisoners a job, generally. You know, they'd make them a slave, they'd do ten years a slave, and then buy the freedom, and then they'd be Roman citizens. So that was quite nice. Can I tell me different armies that you can get? Not much point. They are, I, it would take an entire video to tell you book one, and it would take you another video to tell you book two, which we don't have, and Christmas is coming up if you're watching. Um, you just said that a thousand times. Yeah, I know. No, it's, it's, it's trying to get it to sink in. And so you can, you can pick any army you want. In the Caesarian period, um, you have a multitude of armies. And in the later Imperial Roman, uh, the early Imperial Roman period, you've got different types of armies you can play. Um, the Conquest of Gaul box would be best suited for the Conquest of Britain, the invasion of Britain. Uh, not Julius Caesar's invasion of Britain, but the later invasion of Britain. I forgot who that was. Was Vespasian? I think he was a general. No, it was C -C 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 Claudius. Yeah, and um, Vespasian was a general though, right? Yeah, Vespasian was was a uh, no, not a high-ranking general. He was a general. He was a, a general. He was a general at the time. 
Um, I think in charge of the Seventh Legion, off the top of my head, or it might have been the Fifth. I'll have to look that up again. Sorry, this I where I they fought Boudicca. No, uh, Boudicca was the Boudicca Revolt, which was in 40 odd A. Was it? Fought? No. 60 oh, yeah, AD? It was after yeah, the Compass. Uh, uh, oh, I'm getting my dates mixed up now. They invaded in 40, didn't they? So, or yeah. 42. Um, and the revolt was about 20 years after the invasion. Although the Roman invasion wasn't what you'd think it was. By the time when Caesar invaded um, Britain, you would have the massive Celt armies, which you can get in the Celt uh, section of the rulebook, um, because you have an option for ancient British. Uh, but by the time of Vespasian fighting in Britain, um, and Paulinus and, and all that... Um, a lot of people. Yes. Yeah, people have a lot you had a different type of Celtic society. The Celts had already begun to Romanize. Um, so by the time the Romans invaded the second time, the most of the Celts were Roman, practically. And most of the troops in the Roman army were Celts. The, um, the Romans basically landed and walked ashore and asked where the British army was. And people the, said, yeah, uh, uh, over there somewhere. And, and it, it wasn't exactly a massive seaborne invasion in the way that um, Julius Caesar's was. We probably couldn't speak, probably couldn't speak properly back then. We spoke Greek. Oh. The Celts spoke Greek. I find... Everybody spoke Greek. I find the language in it. I find, I find that language we speak right now is better than Greek. Easier than Greek. Not. Yeah, but if you were Greek or Roman, you'd find Greek perfectly easy Yeah, I just find speak. English the most easiest language to ever speak. That's because you're English. It's not confusing. Yeah, I mean it's not confusing. It's not confusing. English isn't confusing. No. We have the same word for multiple meanings. Yeah. No, and There's no. There's probably an ing or an e at the end of it. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and the odd k that you don't pronounce and stuff. But who cares? Anyway, uh, so you have the... Um, when you choose an army... So we've got completely off topic again. We yeah, we always, no, I, I did that one. When you go off topic, you forget what you're saying, <laughs> which is very important to remember. We're talking about the army. Yeah, so. I mean, you, no, we're talking about the invasion of Britain. You choose whatever army you want, and for instance, I'll choose the invasion of Britain. You're going to use Imperial Roman troops, which is these guys, these guys. Um, if you're going to do um, Julius Caesar's failed attempt to invade Britain. He didn't um, fail, he just went onto the shore. No, he, he, well, he actually won. Unfortunately, Gaul erupted in revolution, backed, I may say, by the British, um, by the uh, the Druids. Anyway, get off track again. No, no, this, this is actually something to do with it, because um, when you're designing an army, that army list in the book may need, you may not need all the options in the army list, and you can really design your own army you want. Um, we try, tend to design our armies based on historical accuracy. So, for the campaign we're doing, we need certain different elements available. Uh, such as the Imperial Roman Army we're using now, we're going to be using Roman skirmishes and stuff with it from the legions rather than uh, brought in from elsewhere. Uh, simply because of the, the wars that we're going to be playing. Um, anything else? No, I don't think so. Um... Did you actually finish that? Yeah, so anyway, um, the, look, it's quite simple. You just pick the army you want and then build it up. Yeah, create it yourself. Yeah, create it yourself. You're stuff in it, but things um, that are realistic to be in You army. can give troops additional skills. Uh, the great thing is about the rules. You upgrade uh, them with points. Yeah, you have uh, uh, each unit type has a cost and you have multiple skills you can give the unit. So you can make them tough fighters, which wild fighters, means which they can re-roll a uh, dice that misses. And wild fighters, which you can re-roll one or three, three dice. Three missed hand hand uh, uh, Rolls. Yes. Um, you've got... Valiant. Uh, st uh, stubborn, which gives you an extra save roll. And you've got Valiant, where you can re-roll a break test. Yes, you can re-roll a break test once per game. You have a lot. Um, yeah, so, and so you can actually put certain historical elements into the units that you've got. Uh, we have done a little bit of tweaking with the Romans, not too much. We've more or less stuck to the army list. Uh, but we are doing the Judean campaign, so we needed to make the Romans slightly more the type of Romans that were fighting there, who were generally Eastern Romans. Um, what else? Uh, the Jewish army, we did, we've got a Jewish revolt army, and that required a lot yeah. of work. <laughs> it is. 
uh, because it doesn't now give it's, you... Now it's in working condition. Yeah, it doesn't give you much options in the rules. It, it, it just says you, you can have peasants or zealots. Basically. We've got the Parthian army, which needs a lot more work than And the Parthia isn't it? Yeah, we need to add elephants to it, uh, which means choosing an elephant we, type yeah. that would fit. And then we've got some horse archers to fit with the army. Yeah. Um, uh, what some people do with the Parthians, they use Sassanid elephants, but that's not really right because the Parthian elephants were fully armoured. They did use unarmoured elephants as well. Never use elephants. But more scouts. Never use elephants against Romans. Yeah, it's just food, isn't it? It just doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, so, so you would have your heavy elephants in blocks in the centre on the flanks, and then on the far flanks you would have your light elephants, which is your unarmoured elephants, which would be used to uh, make small defensive positions for your light cavalry to ride around, to, uh, to, keep your, to support your light cavalry. Although in the rules, elephants can't support cavalry for some reason. Even though cavalry were trained with elephants in the Parthian army. Don't know. So they're actually trained to work with them. And a lot of uh, the thing about horses not liking elephants or, or horses not liking the smell of camels isn't actually true. Um, horses may not, but you very easily train them. You buy a camel from a local merchant yeah. and get it to walk past your cavalry <laughs> once a day. And pretty soon your horses don't care that... Yeah, a lot of it is fallacy, so, you know. But have, it's in the rules, so we use it. Then we have the Dacian mm -hmm. army, which Yeah, is... the Dacian army, which didn't require much tweaking. It's quite straightforward. At the beginning, Although, we needed to do Yeah, because it only, it's regular infantry are classed as nobles who weren't the regular infantry of the Dacian army. Your Dacian army was basically Celts, uh, your Celtic-type infantry. And what have we, do we have Gauls? Yeah, we have Gauls. We have Gauls, but we're using them as Dacian allies at the moment. Yeah, because we haven't got enough. We haven't got enough to actually feel Look, because it's coming up. I just wanted to say it because you know you said it. Yeah, we've got to finish the Romans first. Mum said we're not allowed to finish off. We're not allowed to buy anything new until we finish the figures we've got. Even I say that. Yeah, because you want more Romans. <laughs> You're just wanting more Romans. I, yeah, want, to, I want to buy some Celts for me. I can't even do Romans. pig's head formation because I don't have enough legions. We do now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because since we rebased them, we've, we've given us a couple of extra regiments. Three, is it? Three, I think. No, oh, two. Three, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, basing. I should mention about basing. In fact, basing will be the subject of the next video because this is going on quite long. Yeah. And it is quite a complex thing. Um, yeah, we need to do some history videos where we talk about history stuff. Well, we did at the very beginning. Check out on the very, very bottom of our list. No, I don't The bloopers so video. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a presentation. That was the very first video. video. Yeah, that was. Which just... we didn't really upload because he, like, ruined the whole thing. Uh, no, so we, we did the bloopers instead. Way. Yeah, that was for a presentation I was doing. And then anyway. we did some. We did some uh, history videos, but then we took them off. Um, and, then, and then we started doing battle pots, and then yeah. they, they were popular, so we just kind of doing battle pots constantly. Yeah, uh, and now we're pots. And now we're Hi. discussing healthies and the rules as a total, so... Um, Things have changed since. We, we will get onto basing in the next video, so there we go. We still don't have a camera. I'll do it this time. You do the goodbye thing. <laughs> you read the line, here. you? So that was part two to the uh, Roman armies and uh, basing. Well, no, basing on this next video, so hope you enjoyed that. Um, so if you like this video, right, so if you like this video, <laughs> leave a like, <laughs> leave a like, you don't have to, no. Uh, comment if you want to, and still leave a subscribe because you know we really want to you know, have some more subscribers because you know, I feel sad and. See ya!